Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and Samsung just released their Galaxy Note series lineup of this year, and a lot earlier this year they released the Galaxy S20 lineup. However, they just released a new Galaxy S20, and I've got it right here, the S20 FE 5G. The FE actually stands for Fan Edition, so it looks like they're appealing to their fans of the Samsung brand. The FE changes a couple things from the S20 lineup, like having a flat display as opposed to curved sides. I'll actually throw it up against some of the S20 devices and even the Note 20 as well. Some of you had some things you wanted to see in this video that you mentioned on social media, and I will go ahead and pop some of those throughout the video, including this one right here. Yes, we are going to unbox the S20 FE 5G, so let's go ahead and get started. A big selling point of the FE edition of the Galaxy S20 is to get those Galaxy S20 features at a lower price point. It is actually $700 at launch. However, right now, there's a lot of pre-order deals up. I know on Amazon right now, it's $600. So getting a Galaxy S20 FE 5G for $600 seems very enticing, especially at that price point, not quite that flagship level $1,000. Now let's go ahead and open it on up, see what comes inside. Standard SIM ejection tool, quick start guide. And finally, you have your adaptive fast charge travel adapter with your charging cable, USB type A to USB type C. Now let's move on to the phone, the Galaxy S20 FE. It does have some plastic on the back. Go ahead and peel that off. I also noticed on the front, there is a screen protector pre-installed with a circle for the in-display fingerprint scanner spot. While the phone boots up, let's take a close look. And first of all, looking at that color, a nice matte blue. However, there's multiple color options you can choose from. I think that's a good direction Samsung's going, really being able to customize that color, uh, any specific one that you like, because everyone does have a different preference. Down at the bottom, you have a microphone, USB-C slot for charging one of your speakers and then taking a look at the right side of the phone is your power button volume rockers and a close look at that camera bump fairly minimal overall up towards the top is another microphone your sim card slot along with micro sd card slot for expandable storage it does come with 128 gigs along the left side absolutely nothing and here is that triple camera setup. You have a 12 megapixel standard wide angle lens, a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, and then an eight megapixel telephoto lens, which can zoom up to 30 times. I will get some testing done with this rear camera. Down at the bottom with the Samsung logo and just another look at that cool matte blue color. I would say this is one of the more plain colors they have. They definitely have some more bright and flashy color options. Worth mentioning, the back uses a polycarbonate plastic as opposed to a glass back, similar to that of the regular Note 20. So here are those two devices and their backs right next to each other, just so you can get a bit of a color com comparison. They do have that matte feel. It still does feel good. It makes the phone feel a little bit lighter, maybe not as premium overall. However, I'm still a fan of the polycarbonate they use. It almost feels like I could drop it and it's gonna be a little bit more sturdy than a glass back would. I'm gonna run through the setup process, only talk about anything that's noteworthy. This phone does have face unlock, but let's set up that in-display fingerprint scanner. So just Go ahead and set our thumb down. It actually gives you an icon where you need to set it. Continuing on through. Generally in displays, fingerprint scanners take a little bit longer than the physical ones. And there we go, 100%. We can add more if we'd like to. I'm gonna keep going through the setup process. We're all set up. Here is the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition, which does have 5G, so it has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor inside, which has been a fantastic processor this year. Really happy with it. Let's go ahead and peel off the screen protector. There we go. Now we have the FE all unboxed. Anyways, this is a 6.5 inch 1080p Super AMOLED display, and I'm already noticing the higher refresh rate. So yes, it has a 120 hertz High refresh rate out of the box. Looks like it is enabled. Uh, you can save a little bit of battery if you do switch it back to standard. However, it is not nearly as smooth as when it is at 120 hertz. So definitely recommend checking out the 120 hertz smooth scrolling. It definitely makes a difference in your phone. And here's a quick comparison next to the S20 Plus. Uh, with the display, a little bit larger on the S20 Plus at 6.7 inches, only 0.2 inch difference. Uh, the bezels on the S20 Plus are a little bit smaller than the FE, 
And of course, the sides are flat on the FE, whereas they are curved sides on the Galaxy S20 Plus. With curved sides, there's a little bit less real estate to hold on to, so the FE definitely feels a little bit easier to hold on to, and your fingers aren't really going over the sides. And just one more comparison, because a lot of you were asking, here is the S20 Ultra next to that of the Galaxy S20 FE. So the Ultra, of course, being the larger of the two and that camera module being much larger. Something else I've noticed aesthetically around the front facing punch hole camera is that on the S20 Plus, it has that black outline, whereas more of a metallic outline featured on the FE. Just something I'm noticing visually. So the FE has other flagship features that you'd find in some Samsung devices, such as that IP68 dust and water resistance, has a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. It also wirelessly charges and reverse wirelessly charges. So if you go into uh, your quick panel settings, wireless power share is right there. So you can go ahead and wirelessly charge maybe some wireless headphones or another device via the back of your uh, Galaxy S20 FE. Let's go into the camera app and you'll notice there is a single take feature, which is very useful. Up to 15 seconds, it takes a bunch of different things, videos, photos, ultra wide, uses different lenses, telephoto, it crops things. Uh, fairly useful, it's actually fun to play around with. Of course, in the regular photo mode, we can just snap a quick picture, maybe a picture there of the phones. Let's say we wanted to zoom in on our other devices, uh, 3X right there however like i said you can go all the way up to 30x which is going to be very uh strange but there's a look at the back of the lens right there kind of cool and all the way out to 0.5x which of course is that ultra wide angle lens which i find very useful it's nice to have a telephoto and ultra wide handy in your camera setup you do get a lot of other useful modes pro mode you have your night mode live focus if you want that background blur even some pro video shooting and flipping it to that front facing camera, we can go ahead and take a quick selfie. Here is one that I took just because Pimp and Sweet asked for it. And finally, let's test out that in display fingerprint scanner. Let's you know where it is on the lock screen. As time goes on though, you can kind of get used to that location and you don't even need to turn the display on. You can just set your thumb down where that fingerprint scanner is and it will unlock your phone. Pretty useful feature, but it feels very fast. Seems to be very accurate so far. So that's everything I want to talk about for now with the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to click that thumbs up. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about the FE and which color you think you would go with. I actually really like that Samsung is having phones at just about every price point option for you. For those of you that don't want to pay uh, high prices for the flagship phones, you've got other mid-range options, and of course, offering a lot of trade-in deals and pre-order options just to bring the price down even more. So that's everything I want to talk about. More to come on the Galaxy S20 FE. Be sure to click that subscribe button. As always, guys, thanks for watching.